more and more I am being added to study more. More and more I am being guided to study more. See my Moorish flag flying like my Moorish cape. I'm not a Jew, but Jerusalem has a Moorish gate. Dirty Moors on real, call them Moorish fakes. Pull at Negroes' emotions like some Moorish drapes. If you really want to know, go to a Moorish meeting. You better have a pen and pad, cause when active Moors speaking, it's wake up time. You won't find a Moorish sleeping. Crescent moon and star in the sky, that's a Moorish beacon. The way I navigate beats, call me Moorish seaman. My nationality, I have the power, Moorish he man. Moorish turban, I'm royal, don't mistake me for bourbon. Moorish master MC surgeon, not a rapping servant. We suburban, Moors are so determined to solve the Negro problem. Moorish white man's burden. Moors beans conquer, white rice, that's a Moorish plate. Black or more fish on a hook, that's a Moorish bait. Moorish estate before chapter 48 ancestral line All secrets taken away, Moors are not clandestine Euro masons go to back rooms or washrooms Returning black robes and hoods with cloaks, Moorish costume You won't have it twisted once the Moorish got you Desensitize the facts so the truth won't shock you Some people call it awesome, I'm making it awful Liar lawyer pushing the legal when Moors are lawful Creatures give you ghost spell, she bring Moorish gospel Moors are ancient, they even found a fez on a fossil Even Bruce Lee knew he wore shirts with arms Even MC Hammer knew pantaloons are Moorish pants I understand man, I understand man, I understand the nationality is the order of the game I understand I've seen and heard Moorish things in this realm I had to fathom in shadow eyes inside hoods Moorish master phantoms, smoke swarms Sword and circle seven forms You can stay close, I'm gonna stay far from the norm Tory and Astro, travel on terror, no license No jail cell, no cuffs, no sirens No watching over my back, trying not to get stabbed No fence hopping when those copping Want me not Moorish monk status Bad up any youth who's baddest With knowledge of self Moorish Quran quotes Gun in my belt Moorish naga Not a nigga No shots fired Telling officers they're servants And just hired Easing back into his cruiser Popo ego bruiser Tables turn Moorish status Got him like the loser It's a shame Many hear it But only a few Wake up from the dream state And do what Moors do Fearing the old Moorish star pheasant L Bay. I'm staying Moorish, I don't care what blacks say. You can tell me, many Moors are running a racket. Or show me pics proving Drew Ali is a Moorish faggot. No matter how bad it looks, I'm not dropping this habit. Moorish Neo, wake up the screams telling me, follow white rabbits, jumping, stumbling blocks. They call Holy Trinity. Moorish mind, soul, and heart expressing divinity. I'm Illuminati, illuminated, great seal more. All seeing I from high, being the being I Stand on squares and compass as Allah prepares The mind to handle demonic and those devilish stares Casting spells so I can abandon and give them my power For Grand Dragon commanded from a Moorish tower Yelling Alfred Pike quotes, don't be surprised to catch me Drawing Moorish pentagrams, reading Madame Blavatsky But I'm a Moor, 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 got sick enough to know I'm a Moor and they go never argue with you that I'm not a boy. And wouldn't come in your house or come among you and say I'm a boy if I didn't feel in my heart, in my mind, in my soul that I am. So God damn it, I don't know what the hell you're talking about. No more. So if I say it, I mean it. And if I mean it, generally, I say it. Are you a Muslim? Yes. But I know my roots, and I ain't going to Kinte. Islam Moors, Canaan Land Moors class, Tuesday. Um, trust that when you're not in tune, the, 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 the forces are going to do what you messed up. So keep yourself in tune. You got five principles. Always check yourself against them principles. Right. Um, the reason why our people have such a hard time 
is really because of their incompetence. It's really because, you know, some of us take a position that it doesn't benefit us to know our history or whatever, right? They think that history is just some subject in school or whatever. And don't realize that they're getting slapped in their face by these colonizers every day trying to put them on. And opposed to them getting put on to really what's going on, they take the position forget getting put on. And it's, and, it's, and it really sucks that Noble Juali still has to hold humanity in his arms in 2017. 2017. She's still passed out in the arms. Passed out. Unconscious. unconscious unconscious like totally unconscious that's only going to be fixed by self you already know all the prophets already came you know I mean all the angels came so self is it right now so to carry on the tradition, to carry on the tradition, Prince Harry went and got Asiatic. They forget all that BS that you guys are talking about. I'm getting me an Asiatic. Now, you know. This is even going back to Princess Diana. You know, she got assassinated. Because what was she doing? She wasn't done with all that stuff, colonization, all that BS. Go check her track record. She was like Michael Jackson of royalty. Royalty people in the world, everybody repped her. Only people who didn't rep her were these same people that we're up against today. These same Zionist Ashkenazis and colonial operators. So he goes out and finds himself an Asiatic. And this is how the Asiatics the unconscious are, are looking at at this. And then keep in mind that it's um, you know constant denationalization with regard to dark skinned people that don't have a nationality. The, the, the thing that's stuck is black. The thing that's stuck is black. Remember now, this is supposed to be... Keep in mind, we know that this whole idea of black, white, and people are colors is politics from this side of the Atlantic. It's from this side of the Atlantic. Because when we go to certain places, and you can ask Brother Sheldon L. 
who lives on that side of the Atlantic that nobody calls him black. Fez or not, they don't call him black. That's just not something that you would apply to a human being. Only in one place, this illusion called the United States and Canada and Caribbean, West Indies and all that. Black women finally see themselves in fairy tale twist. For some black women, Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's engagement was something more. One of the world's most eligible bachelors has chosen someone who looks like them and grew up like them. It's the kind of storybook plot twist that, doesn't all, that they don't always experience. It's that old Cinderella tale, said Essence Magazine, Editor-in-Chief Vanessa DeLuca. No matter what, we all have this fantasy of being swept off our feet by the prince. It's validation that, of course, we can be princesses. We need to see that as black women, that that's possible. That's something we don't get to see enough of, and that's what we're responding to. Now, they have We'll go back to that thing about why the elder, or the elder Tachiri Bay, went on the black guy's channel and told the black guys that the world doesn't respect black people. You guys are stupid. You guys are incompetent. And your incompetence is... You need to get dealt with for your incompetence. So, keep in mind, these um, women, these black women, this is the Cinderella tale. Right? Getting swept off your feet by a prince. If you get swept off your feet by a prince, then that means we're princesses. You're a grown woman, you're talking about you're a princess? You're a grown woman, and they're talking about they're princesses. This sister getting engaged this European proves to them that they could be princesses. Now from a Moorish perspective, we already know as they say that they're a princess, they say that they're a minority. They're saying they have a minor mindset. If they're an adult and they want to be a princess, and the only example that they can find is this new age Asiatic, that got picked up, fell in love, whatever, with this European. The world doesn't respect black people. That's why you better proclaim your nationality and be more. Because people are laughing at you. So this is one of my books, Nationality Order of the Day, message to all the Rastafarians, Pan-Africans, and everybody else. You got this at khalifamedia.com. And page 50. We must see that all applies to our liberation. We must come to a universal ideal 
when it comes to melanin beings and freedom. Haile Selassie is the redeemer for us all, whether in a physical sense or spiritual essence. Recognize the glory and goodness of our imperial majesties, referring to Negus Negas, King of Kings, Haile Selassie I, and his consort, Empress Menen, who carries the title Negis Negas, which means Queen of Kings. You don't have an example? You don't have a reference point of quote-unquote uh, black? Oh yeah, no, you don't. Because they were Abyssinian. They weren't calling their self out of their name. They weren't calling their self out of their name. And keep in mind that she was an empress. She was an empress. His Imperial Majesty, quote, Ethiopia has existed for 3,000 years. In fact, it exists ever since the first man appeared on earth. My dynasty has ruled since the Queen of Sheba met King Solomon and a son was born of their union. It is a dynasty that has gone through the centuries and will go on for centuries more. You got no example. You only have this new age girl. That's the only example you have to inspire you to be who it is you really are, royalty. The very name Hatshepsut itself may prove the fact that this famous queen who visited the land of Punt, the divine land, and who built a temple on the banks of the Nile at Thebes in Upper Egypt, patterned after Solomon's temple in Jerusalem, was indeed the queen of Sheba. H-A in Hebrew means the. Thus her actual name, Shep, but nominatives are often interchangeable, and it could be rendered Sheb, that is, Sheba. Sut is a word in Kemetic that means dark or black. In Ages of Chaos, by Emmanuel Velikovsky, he states about Hetshep Sut, Thy name reaches as far as the circuit of heaven. The fame of Makare encircles the sea. Makare is clearly the same name as Makeda, the Ethiopian name of the Queen of Sheba or Saba. The term Sheba or Saba refers to the name of the famous Ethiopian royal city at the Nile and two other Ethiopian rivers at the upper reaches of the Nile. The Queen of Sheba is Hatshepsut. Her Egyptian name, Makeda, or her Egyptian name, or Makeda, her Ethiopian name. He inherited his imperial bloodline through his paternal grandmother, Princess Tegnawar, Sally Selassie, who was an aunt of Emperor Menelik II, and as such claimed to be a direct descendant of Makeda. Her Imperial Majesty Empress Menen being crowned on the same day as the, as the Emperor implies she is not a queen. Grimm's Law Dictionary defines queen as whore. Though she has a king, she is setting the empress standard from this day forth. The queen represents the harlot, Queen Elizabeth, riding the beast called the British monarchy, Revelation 17, 1, 17, 14, which has fought for the imperial scepter and the riches of Ethiopia through enormous deceitful tactics to claim the birthright of Africa's only uncolonized country. There is physically only one highly Selassian Empress Menen, but spiritually we are all elects of God, conquering lions from one of the twelve tribes of Isis, Ra, and El, lights of this world, 
which this world is the mind, activated by wearing the triple crown or raising the crown chakra, riding the feminine kundalini energy through the gates of Zion. Now, they might say, he, uh, no, he doesn't have degrees and he doesn't have whatever, so okay, sure. We'll just go to the cover of Nature Knows No Color Line. The same line that this Asiatic sister is tying herself to is a line that Asiatics are in. Not outside people being brought in like her. People already in. You already in? But again, just like Barack, this is their first black whatever. But that's only what they say. The world doesn't say that. Only in their ignorance do they say that. A first black whatever. Incompetence at its heights. So you got, and again, it goes back to this idea that our people fell as a people, so because you fell, you just have to stay there. No, not really. Everybody else who falls, they rise up and be somebody again. They don't stay in the fallen state. Who falls and then just lays there? I'm just going to lay here because I fell. Eventually people are going to say, something's wrong with this guy. Or this sister. Chapter 5. And um, Nature Knows No Color Line, J.A. Rogers. While white vandals were pouring into Africa in the 4th and 5th centuries, Africans continued to arrive in southern Europe chiefly as slaves, but in 711 AD, they came in as conquerors. One, crossing into Spain, which would really be Al-Andalus, not Spain in 711. They captured Gibraltar, which wouldn't be Gibraltar in 711, because that rock's named after the guy who passed there. So, if he wasn't there yet, that couldn't be called that yet. All right? And defeated the Goths, white Germanic invaders of three centuries earlier. Their commander, Tariq, a Negro, right? Tariq, a Negro. And then let's just, um, let's just check the, um, because remember that Dr. Jose Pimenta Bay taught that when not printed in the United States of America, so when you get books from European scholars, when they come over here, and they're printed over here, they're edited. Where it used to say more, it's going to say Negro now. Where it used to say African, it's going to say Black. Where it used to say something de jour, it now says something de facto. This is what they've done. This is how somebody by the name of Tariq is a Negro. But Negroes from over here. So if they're saying Negroes are from over here, right? Because there's no Negroes on that side of the Atlantic. There's no Negroes in the East. Negroes are only on this side. So if Tariq is a Negro, and you're talking about he was in Gibraltar and 
conquering Spain and all that stuff, then there must be a connection between Negroes and Tariq. If, you know, if they're going to say Negro here. Because so you already know that there's no such thing, you know, there's no Negroes, ain't nothing called that. Ask anybody, tell you, you Negro? No, nah, I'm not a Negro. Okay, so then, how's Tariq a Negro? If these people don't even want to be Negroes, they might accept black. Which, you know, translation, Negro is black, right? But, they're still going to play their game. And when you start studying and you start realizing these games that people are playing, you realize why we're in the state that we're in as a people. Because if we don't know what the real is, then when they present their color, we're going to go with it. Now somebody's going to take Tariq a Negro and they're really going to run with that. How, how's Tariq a Negro? Those, those two things don't even go together. Those are two separate jurisdictions. These Africans were Moors, sometimes called Arabs, because of their language. So when incompetent people say, you know, oh, more the pale Arabs and all that stuff. They're pale, somebody's a pale language? How's the world looking at somebody? And they put up a YouTube video, it has 100,000 hits or whatever, and they're talking about, yeah, Moors, the pale Arabs, the Moors, whatever. You think the world's looking at these people as really scholars? The little dummies, the, the lab rats, that's, that's there with them, cheering their on with their incompetence, they might be down with some of the BS that these people are talking. But guaranteed, the world's not down with the BS that they're talking. Right? We know that the world's not down with the BS that they're talking. We know that. It's a fact. Right? To the earlier Greeks, the Moors were a black or dark people. Moros. So, let's say, more means black. Well, the Greeks made that up. Yeah. So, when the Greeks saw a black guy, what did they say? Moros. Okay, so, okay, so when the Greeks saw a black guy, they said Moros. They didn't say black guy, they said Moros when they saw a black guy. And our people are going to be convinced that they're not Moors? They're everything else but Moors. And then when they found out that Moors are Arabs, oh now they don't want to be Arabs because, you know, those are pale people. Moors sometimes called Arabs because of their language. Moors, sometimes called Arab. Moors are sometimes called Arab because of their language. But not because of how they looked. So how come these guys talk about Arabs like you could identify one by how they look? When it's really language. But again, our people, especially the conscious ones, the ones who are woke, claim that they know their self, They are out of their mind to the rest of the world. You better take time to do some research and studying your Moorish history. Forget all Egypt stuff already because you already know that stuff. Go check the Moorish history, see where that leads you to. So you can have a perspective. 
to the Romans, Morris, a black woolly haired people. So when the Greek guy saw a black guy, they said Moros. When the Romans saw a black guy, they said Moros. When they heard somebody speak Arabic, they said more. If there was a black or dark people, they were called more. These Africans were Moors, but you're trying to tell me that we're not Moors? We're everything else but Moors. The conscious logic. So to the Romans, Morris, a black woolly-haired people known synonymously as Ethiops, Negro, N-I-G-E-R, Niger, and Afer, which is African. Even as late as the 5th century A.D., Procopius, Roman historian, calls the people of Morocco black. About, and remember that's in quote, big quotes, quote unquote black. About the second century BC began invasions of white people into Morocco. The Romans who called it Mauritania came in and, and it is to be presumed that their soldiers mixed with Moorish women. Julius Caesar himself had a Moorish queen as a sweetheart. Later came the Vandals, a white people who were for a time allies with the Moors against Rome. Still later came Islamic invaders whose ancestors for 30 centuries had been a mixture of white and black. Due to these invasions of lighter colored people, the Moors of the 8th century AD were probably about the color of the native population of Casablanca or Fez. In fact, if one goes by the description of white writers and painters, the Moorish invaders were on whole very black. In the romance of Morian, one of King Arthur legends, Sir Morian, that is more, is described as all black, his head, his body, his hands were all black, saving only his teeth. Moors are black as burnt brands. So there's a black guy. This guy is black. His head's black, his body's black, his hands black. Everything but his teeth are black. But his name's Morian. How come his name's not Black Guy? How come his name's not Mr. Black? Sir Black. Because you're so black, sir, that we just have to call you black. No, his name's Morian. Oh, why is his name Morian? Because, because he's a Moor. He's not a black guy. He's just described as black. He's not really black. Like how this, the so-called intelligent people talk. So don't let them try to play their little BS with you about Some Asiatic sister is going to go marry Prince Harry. And now, you guys not mad about interracial dating no more and stuff? Like, I thought, I thought you guys were, were you guys just mad just like a little while ago about interracial dating and stuff like that? 
they say no way and all that stuff when other when these quote unquote black guys find a European, you guys quick to cuss them out and stuff like that. Oh my god, he's selling out the sisters and all that stuff. But now oh, she's not no princess yet. Don't get too don't get excited. Not because she gets married to him, she's a princess. Because remember, it's about airship. It has nothing to do with your, your body. Let's do with bodies that, that's coming. Nothing to do with you. When you talk about birthrights, birthrights not about you. Birthrights is about who you giving this stuff to. Who's the heir to whatever it is that you claim you got? And trust, if there's no heir, then, you know, they're going to ask cheat. Which, again, is what they have been doing on that side. Because even that estate over there belongs to Morris. That's why it's named after a Moorish queen. Why? Why is it named after somebody Moorish? Because the land is, is Moor. What's it what you call over here? America. A-M-E-R. That's Amir. What's Amir? Amir is a Moor. Africa? No. Dr. Ben told you Al Kebelan. Al Kebelan? What Al Kebelan? Those people over there they say they're African and all that stuff, but their stuff is called Arabic name? Now you think that the Moors didn't rule the world at one time? Disconnecting from the illustrious history of the Moors? So illustrious, let's just. Go to Morris Literature. No Jwali is props. The Industrious Acts of the Muslims. The Industrious Acts of the Muslims. It's how heavy the Moors were. And, and No Jwali came. Gave you everything it takes to save a nation. Told you take it and save yourself, but nah. You want to save yourself. You want some people to save you. you not some guy with some title or whatever to save you. Oh no. You better go study and save yourself. You better go study and save yourself. It's in your best interest to do that. Especially in these times with all these charlatans around here. The industrious acts of the Muslims of Northwest and Southwest Africa. These are the Moabites, Hamathites, and Canaanites who were driven out of the land of Canaan by Joshua and received permission of the pharaohs of Egypt to settle in that portion of Egypt. We'll just stop there for a sec. Keep in mind what we just read, right? These are the Moabites, Hamathites, and Canaanites who were driven out of the land of Canaan by Joshua and received permission of the pharaohs of Egypt to settle in that portion of Egypt. In later years, they formed themselves kingdoms. These kingdoms are called to this day Morocco, Algiers, Tunis, Tripoli, etc. They originated the beauties of the Alhambra and... To an unpracticed eye, the light relives and fanciful arabesques which the cover the walls of the Alhambra appear to have been sculpted by hand. And this is um, an article called This 
is an article called Mohammedanism. Louis Chevalier, C H E V A L I E R, L O U I S C H E V A L I E R D E J A U C O U R T. And the Encyclopedia of Diderot and the Lambert Collaborative Translation Project. The Encyclopedia of Diderot, D I D E R O T, and D apostrophe A L E M B E R T. Collaborative Translation Project. It is evident that the genius of the Arab people put into movement by Muhammad alone accomplished everything for almost three centuries and resembled in that the genius of the ancient Romans. In fact, it was under Valid, the least warlike of the caliphs, that the greatest conquests were made. One of his generals extended his empire as far as Samarakan in 707. S-A-M-A-R-K-A-N-D. Another attacked at the same time the empire of the Greeks around the Black Sea. Another in 711 passed from Egypt to Spain which had been easily subjected in turn by the Carthaginians, by the Romans, by the Goths and the Vandals, and finally by these Arabs we call Moors. They were first established, there they first established the Kingdom of Cordoba. The Sultan of Egypt, the Sultan of Egypt, now we're talking about 711, right? Between 711 and 750 something. The Sultan of Egypt truly shook the yoke of the Grand Caliph of Baghdad and Abderam, governor of conquered Spain, no longer recognized the Sultan of Egypt. Nevertheless, everything bowed still to Muslim arms. With a minute and patient labor, the inexhaustible variety of detail, yet a general uniformity and harmony of design truly astonishing. And this may especially be said of the vaults, the cupolas, which are wrought like honeycombs or frostwork with, st with stalactites and pendants which confound the beholder with the seeming intricacy of their patterns. The astonishment ceases, however, when it is discovered that this is all stucco work, plates of plaster of Paris cast in molds and skillfully joined so as to form patterns of every size and form. This mode of disappearing walls with arabesques and stuccoing the vaults with grotto work was invented in Damascus, but highly improved by the Moors in Morocco, to whom Saracenic architecture owes its most graceful and fanciful details. The process by which all of this fairy tracery was pronounced is ingeniously simple. The walls, in their naked state, were divided off by lines crossing at right angles, such as artists use in copying a picture. Over these were drawn a succession of interesting regiments of circles. By the aid of these, the artist could work with celerity and certainty, 
and from the mere intersection of their plane and curved lines across the interminable variety of patterns and the general uniformity of their character. Much gilding was used in the stucco work, especially of the cupolas, and the interstices were delicately penciled with brilliant colors such as vermilion and lapis lazuli laid on with whites of eggs. The primitive colors alone were used, says Ford, and that was the Hebrew master teacher. That was the Hebrew master teacher, Josiah Ford. Not David Ford. That people like to say, hey, David Ford taught noble Juali. No, that ain't. That's not really right and exact. Because if they were talking about David Ford, trust me, Noble Jolly would have put an L there. He's not gonna go through all this stuff calling himself Noble Jolly and then get to David Ford and say, Yeah, Ford said. No. The only Ford is the quote-unquote, Hebrew master teacher. And when you look at the relation between the Hebrews and the Garveyites, you know, Dus Muhammad Ali, you have to put Noble Drew Ali in there. Right? You have to put Noble Drew Ali in there because all of them had to know each other. There's no way Deuce Muhammad Ali knows Marcus Garvey. Marcus Garvey knows W.E. the boy and talented tenth and all these people, and then nobody knows who Noble Drew Ali is? Hell out of here. And again, remember, Ford was around them times. He was not in like that. He wasn't in like that yet. All right. The primitive colors alone were used, says Ford, by the Egyptians, Greeks, and Arabs in the early period of art, and they prevail in the Alhambra wherever the artist has been Arabic or Moorish. It is remarkable how much of their original brilliancy remains after the lapse of several centuries. The lower part of the walls in the saloons to the height of several feet is encrusted with glazed tiles, joined like the plates of stucco work so as to form various patterns. On some of these are emblazoned the escutcheons of the Muslim kings traversed with a band and model. These glazed tiles, azulijas in Spanish, azulija in Arabic, are of Oriental origin. The Muslim tiles that these Muslims were creating those Oriental origin. Again, it goes back to that, that theme that the master teachers came and told our people. Just go back, watch Dr. Khalid's last speech when he talked to everybody. The whole conscious community, everybody was there. Africa's not your home. The world was known as Asia. So what 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 do, what do you why are you limiting yourself to this box? What's the purpose of limiting yourself to just that only? When all this was brought. We go through a little bit of Noble Juali's things, right? 
the one page that we read, the one page in my book, and that should have some people studying for the next three, four days. Forget whatever you got to do. Anything you heard and you're like, hey, what, what? And you wrote that down? Okay, that's something that you need to extensive research on. Just because it triggered you to write it down. So, obviously there's a connection there for you. If you took notes and you write something down, something connected with you about that, why you wrote it down. So, put extensive research into everything that you wrote down. Don't you really wait on no grand sheet to tell you, grand governor to come tell you or whatever, master metaphysician, doctor, whoever, to, to have some lecture for you to get the goods. They're not giving you anything. All this is just supposed to be inspire you to go, go nuts. You'll be somebody's follower chasing people. Never. It's not what your mind's for. Your mind's not to chase people. It's obvious that, you know, there's enough work for everybody to do, for real. Right? More should just be busy doing any and everything. On top of the other obligations and other stuff that you got to do, there has to be a... Uh, um, philanthropic mindset there has to be there can't be this you 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 only you get stuff that's be some stuff little stuff left for the posterity that's be little stuff to help people who are less fortunate that's be a little bit of people who say, you know what I mean, sincerely that they need help and you can assist them, that you got to give them a little peace. The elderly got to get theirs. Children that aren't yours, that you know are going through BS, that one you can help them with, they got to get their little cut. They're not, it's not going to be all on you. It's not, you're not practicing or studying, you know, um, um, estate law to go claim a mansion that's incompetence you're studying estate law to go claim all these abandoned stuff around here forget buy them because since they're abandoned claim them fix them up which quote unquote is work And let's lead by example. Let's lead by showing and proving. Right? Like one of the mores today. One of the mores today had me on the phone because he got pulled over by the highwayman. So the highwayman pulled him over and they're talking about, you know, everything in the wrong terminology based on how this more studies. So one thing they brought up was, well, you know, we're going to have to arrest you because, and then he's like, yo, what do you mean? You know what I mean? You can't really you know, that's violating my rights, and you can't, yeah, we understand that, but, you know, we're going to have to arrest you, blah, blah, blah. Tutus told them the difference. Remember, these are highwaymen up, up here, right? Told them the difference between arrest and detain. Right? 
told them between rest and the tin. Now they stop saying arrest. Now they're saying detain. And that their perspective was that, well, arrest, no, um, charge, charged is really what you don't want. Don't worry about get. Don't worry about us arresting you. Like this, is how they're talking to him, and he's like, "Nah, what do you mean? Don't worry about you guys arresting me, right?" Truth and falsehood strangely mixed. He was truth; they were falsehood, and they were they were you know they wasn't locking horns, battling, fighting, or nothing like that. It was misinterpretation because one person had no knowledge. And one person did. And the one that, who had knowledge stuck to their position of whatever knowledge they had. Based on what they knew. Not based on what assumption or some code book told them. Or, you know, they went to some training and that's what the training said. And the more had these so-called police change over. And say, oh no, sorry, we mean detained, right? Ultimately, right, um, it really was that, you know what I mean? They weren't, they weren't trying to whatever and, you know what I mean, kidnap and all that stuff. You know, in the end, he's like, yo, you know, I, I, you know the, the first guys came, they were acting crazy or whatever like that. I'm like, oh, sorry, you know what I mean? You call your supervisor. Supervisor came. You know what I mean? Dealt with it like it wasn't the Negro shit. Trust that. Right? Dealt with it like, you know, well, you know, we just, we, we just have our whatever to do because, you know, you, you didn't give a license, but, you know, the car has plates on it and insurance and ownership, but you don't have a license. So, you know what I mean? There, we have we have an issue right now that we really don't know how to deal with it really or whatever. So he ends up getting so they gave him one ticket, right? In the straw name with the temple address on it. And then they gave him one ticket with the free national name with the temple address on it. And as we know, because of them having a uh, a way that they have to do stuff, right? Because they're, they're, they're thinking about this way that they have to do stuff, right? They'll give you some BS tickets. Because they already know that either they're not going to show up or that it could be beat. As far as when they give tickets to Mars. Out here. Right? And again, the the people who are going to court tribunal whatever, kangaroo room, the people who are there, people who are in that place, they're there based on what they know. They're not there because they had a card or whatever. They're there because of what they know. Right? We're going to get the breakdown of that one, but we're going to take a one second, a one second break and get ready for our, um, or pardon the interjection, last hour. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yo, base Yo. your eyes Yo. on the guy Yo. that has no hey. kind of worries hey. if I die. Hey. So pussy cloud try. No skinny jeans or tight shirts, kinda. No lip piercings, Vidal Sassoon locks or eyeliner. Nail polish wearing, conscious spoon staring. Got me calling up the unconscious spoons daring. To chain bricks, to wrists and ankles of rappers. Kill a priest like cricket's moon after. We put on black sheets, pointed hoods and all. Bat your head like your skull is a baseball or pinata. You cuff boys, don't want drama. 
drama. You don't wanna get bit by my piranhas. Sharks that I swim with take more than legs and arms. Shango or Kali, if you're lucky, my right to bear arms is what I exercise. Cause if I call Orishas, it's a cult mixed with voodoo and Tantaria, not even wars Ouija. Veil and cloak rituals close to you, but you can't see me. Looking in your face as you pass me by like far side. Calling spirits from the underworld and dark side. Go to the metal center, invoke higher, not lower heavens. Neo saw the matrix, I see 11s, 22s, 33s, and 44s on dream realms. About an alligator man and what he was. Vampiric weapons, SO not exoteric. Barbary pirate, but don't call me barbaric. Don't call a medic, you better call a grave digger or call a ref as you tap out cause your legs four figured. I'm not that nigga, jigger or rapping tigger. More like a Morris move the hustler and trigger. Base your eyes on the guy that has no kind of worries if I die. So pussy clock try. Base your eyes on the guy that has no kind of worries if I die. So pussy clock try. So brother Supreme L had a few a few more questions that um He wanted to ask. So we wanted to do the last hour again for our pardon the interjection. Um, slash Kane and Land Moore's QA. All authority and rights of publishing this pamphlet on 1927 by the prophet Milton Now that's just one to run that across for the family for the moment. supposed to run, right? Nova Juali said, anybody who wants a charter, come get one and I'll give you one to go do what you're supposed to do with regard to this Moorish movement. Right? Now, if you live somewhere where there's no temple, clearly these people weren't giving out charters. So, you know, you, you want to tread lightly with regard to wanting to start up a more science temple because of these corrupt people that are in here right now. Um, so for example, with, with regard to um, what, what you and Selah were doing out there, right? You inherited a temple. Right? It wasn't like you were starting up something that whatever. There was already something that was established and you were taking it over. Right? right? Now, because of this, this um, 
corruption in this institution, Moore Science Temple, the flaming hoops that you would have to drive through to get yourself a charter to say that you're more a science temple might not be worth it. You might not want the burns. Or you might not want the foot on your neck. Or you might not want the um, telling you who you can talk to, who you can't talk to because now you're down with them. Right? But, you know, if you live by the principles and you exercise the principles and you know who Noble Juali is and you know what he brought, then it might be better to start a study group. And with starting this study group, it will be the beginning of a body politic in the jurisdiction where you domicile. Right? Because there's too much corruption. The, what, the temples that are, that are in existence, that are um, use, using themselves as a well for people to get information relative to their birthright, then keep supporting those. You know what I mean? If you want to give props to Morris Science Temple, big those ones up. Don't, don't create one or go get a charter from one thinking that, you know, you're going to be able to do what you do as a freelance more. Like they're not having that. You're going to be put under manners. Strict manners, because remember, they have a level of fraud that they've been doing for the past 80, 90 years. Right. Under, under the banner of Morris Science Temple. And again, the issue comes down to that it's like when, it's like Morris who... Um, It's like Moors who are in temples right now that are corrupt, right? Right. They know that they're corrupt. It's not like they don't know. But there's there's this um, honor the traitors gene that Moors have. There's something bred into Mars where, you know, it's okay for somebody to be a traitor. It's okay for somebody to be a sellout. You know, it's 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 not it's not, you know, a negative if somebody doesn't have your best interests at heart. Only only with more only only with Mars right now. If you're saying that you want to be more science temple and it's corrupt people that you're getting your charter from. How with the prophet are you? How, how with the prophet are you if you're siding with the people who helped kill the prophet? Right. You know, that's why we always push. Start a study group. Because what? More Science Temple of America is a school anyways. Exactly. It's not some temple. Yeah. Go worship Noble Juali and sing stuff. It's a school. Not teach you Quran and all that stuff. Teach you the stuff that you got that you were just reading with CMB and all that. Teaching that yeah. stuff in the temple. How about teach that? How about have Clock of Destiny classes at the temple? Where they read the Clock of Destiny, right? And then they have their dictionaries and all that stuff, and then they study and, you know, whatever. But, you know, you're not going to get that in the temple. And if you think that they're going to give you a charter and you're going to do that, ha! 
Ha! Don't be fooled. These people are about ownership. That's why, <coughs> that's why um, you don't hear these people as far as the leadership of MST or whatever like that say anything to Canaan land. We're more a science temple. We got a charter and all that. You think they're gonna because we're not we're not under them like that. We're not under them. Because it's not this is not ownership. The Moors who brought us in told us take this stuff that we're giving you and do what the prophet said to do. Here's all the stuff that the prophet said. So you take the stuff that the prophet said, go wherever, back where you came from, and implement what the prophet said where you're at. Now, remember too that you know, a lot of the people that these people are mad at A lot of the people that these people are mad at because, you know, they don't teach more science and all that stuff are people who we're down with as more science temple of America. Which again compromises them because if there's a more science temple of America over there and they're saying, yeah, you know, you shouldn't go check out this people's information because, you know, you'll get some facts from them. Do your research, fact check them, and you're going to learn something. Then these people over here that, that are more Science Temple of America too are saying, well, those guys don't know what Noble Drew Ali brought and they're running a fraud and they don't know this, they don't know that, Prophet didn't say what they said and, and all this. Now when you check Noble Drew Ali's stuff for yourself, you're going to realize that there are certain people who are with what the Prophet said and then certain people who are lying. Now, if you want to get a charter from a liar because Noble Juali said, yeah, the, the temple, and you're getting caught up in temple being some building with a sign, the more signs temple, then you don't deserve to have a temple. Because that's incompetence. If somebody's going to say, hey, you want to be more signs temple? I'll give you a charter for 250 Which they've done. Wow. Why would you want to be part of that? And again, this has nothing to do with more science temple. We're saying, I'm saying, that <coughs> get out of that box mentality that more science temple is what this is about. This is about uplifting fallen humanity. This is about putting Noble Juali up front. The study, study group, a study group is called Up Front. And your logo is a picture of Noble Juali. And what happens there? Well, when you happen there, we got Korans here. We got dictionaries here. We got different type of Bibles here. We got metaphysical Bible dictionaries, law books, whatever like that. If you want to know something about this, then, you know, we can teach you something. Or you can come learn something. Or whatever. You know, eventually, you're going to realize that, wow, many people really want to know stuff. And then all those people that want to know stuff, all those people that have been down with the foundation for the past year or whatever like that, they've been coming to class or program or study night or, you know what I mean, book report night, whatever you call it. You know what I mean? Then... Those are the people who are going to be the ones that set the foundation. And again, we know that it's not going to be, you know, like we have a saying that uh, when, we, when we were dealing with the black BS and all that. And because of the fight we were getting from our people 
to build something for themselves, we realized that, or we came to the conclusion that, you know what? It wasn't no, all these people that came together, it's four people built the pyramids. There are hundreds of people helping build that. Four people, one guy each side. Because the only way it's going to get done is by people who are, who are for the cause. Right. Not people who are for the fame. Not people who are for the gluttony that comes with exercising your rights. You know what I mean? Because, you know, you can, you can stand upon birthrights and stuff be so good that you forget about everybody else. Because stuff's so good, you become a, you become a birthright glutton. Right. Stuff is so good. You got birthright dripping off your elbow and stuff like that. <laughs> Mouth all dirty with birthrights, talking about, about why do you have to share It's everybody's birthright, but you're fat. <laughs> fat with birthrights. <laughs> right? This, this, is, this is a humanitarian ideal. This is about philanthropy. This is not about, about you know what I mean, some self-gratifying whatever. You know what I mean? And the only way that our people are going to unlock the slave chains is if they get keys. The only way that you're going to cure the sick is with medicine. Right. right? That's why Dr. York said holy tablets. Because the tablet is your medicine. That's right, correct. You know what I mean? But he, but he, he wasn't on some mundane or whatever. But again, people get caught up. They see, see him use nationality and birthrights, built pyramids and all that type of stuff. You think it's not nationality and birthrights that did that? <laughs> and everybody was supposed to follow suit. Not just run to go go be there. Right. People leaving where they're at to come there. Instead of building what he built where they're at. That's right. That's, that's exactly right. And want to know how come how come they were able to get in so easy and shut him down or whatever. What do you mean? Every, every, everything's centralized in one location. Why not? Why you think why you think why you think the beast of Babylon has seven heads or whatever? <laughs> <laughs> no matter what you take ahead, you you still got to deal with Babylon. Right, right. You know, you know, what I mean? you know that 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 would that that statement right there alone, you know, would take us into our second question if you if you can uh, allow that. There's a lot more. Peace, boy. Uh, and with that, uh, he said that it was so easy for them to come in and infiltrate and shut that down in Tamaray in Georgia. Um, how, uh, with this statement, how true is this statement? If the prophet is not at the head of your movement or whatever you're doing, it won't last. Um, you know, that, that only applies to those that adhere to what Noble Jawali brought. Mm -hmm. So, you know, People out there who are doing whatever, and their stuff is successful, but Noble Juali is not in front of it. They're, they're they're not included. Right. You know, this is only relative to Mars, who right, exactly. follow the teachings, who study the teachings, who use as a reference point the lessons that Noble Juali brought. So for those people, hell yeah, that statement is right, true, and exact. Because you can't be 
a um, active, conscious Moorish American and not give honors to Nobu Ju Ali. Like you can't. If you think you can, then don't worry, you won't be here too long. Just watch all those people who said that they're Moorish or whatever. How long their stuff lasts? Right, like, like, you know, it's, it's, um, it's blasphemy for somebody to call themselves their, their organization or their group or their firm or whatever, Moorish something, but they got somebody else as the, the, the figurehead. Right? And again, this is why, keep in mind, when we went to Pittsburgh, the whole play of them having um, Nobu Juali's picture on the wall, and next to him, the reincarnated prophet. Wow. Like, both of them on the wall together. Wow. Right? Because they know that they can't put, they can't, if he's reincarnated, why are they showing a picture of the prophet for him? If, if you're Noble Juali, come again, then we don't need no pictures of Noble Juali around. Why we need pictures of Noble Juali still? If these people are the, are the coming of whatever, why they still got pictures of Noble Juali? Because you have to put the prophet in there too, too in order for your stuff to, you know what I mean, be credible. Remember the same people. These are the same people who are jealous of his fame and nobility. Right. That now that now they have some whatever, and they put they put his picture on the chair and say Nobu Juali sitting there and stuff like that. Right. But that's only for show because all they do is push their supreme grand sheik or their grand sheik or their grand governor or whatever. They don't push Nobu right. Juali. They don't push Nobu Juali. You know what I mean? And again, when you go and you check what Nobu Juali presented to the Moors, you would see why his why he should be up front. <laughs> why, why like why would why would you be enforcing the constitution because somebody told you but not give honors to the guy who told you? You're standing up on your right to travel and all that stuff, but then they, they ain't got nothing. You don't got the little, um, the little rear view mirror picture of Nobu Juali or nothing like that. Hanging picture. You don't got a little sticker on the steering wheel or nothing like that. You say you honor the prophet? Nothing? Nothing on your person? You know what I mean? Like, you, you don't, you don't, you, you don't, nothing at all? And I remember these were things like even when when um, we were in Chicago or whatever, you know what I mean? Every more, they opened their wallet, they got a picture of the prophet in there. Every more. Right? So Nobu Juali is there all the time. Nobu Juali is always up front. Every time they go in that wallet, Nobu Juali is there looking at them. Checking them. Right? Because he told the Moors, devil can't steal my appearance. So, you know what I mean? If you, if you got a picture of me looking at you, I'm looking at you. Don't get it twisted. Don't, and, and, don't get, and don't get caught up in, you know what I mean? Uh, oh, because we got a picture of Nobu Juali, you were worshipping him or something like that or whatever. Nah. Nobu Juali himself is a sigil. Moorish American prayer is a mantra. He went to the East to go study. You think he's coming back with that short, like, go, go check everybody else's prayers and check our prayer. These people talking for five minutes saying prayers. Go read Lord's Prayer. How long is that?
How long is all these prayers? You check our prayer, six lines or whatever. Because it's not really a prayer, even though it says prayer, it's a mantra. Right? That 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 um, seal with the pyramid on it, that's a sigil. That's seven in that broken circle, that's a sigil. Crescent and star, that's a sigil. Handshake, that's a sigil. That was not some just show you pictures of some stuff because he's bored. Everything has a reason. And again, which goes going back to the question again, which is why this man has to get his props. And if you don't want to give him his props, don't worry, you know what I mean? Allah's going to deal with you because Allah sent an overdrawly for us. He didn't come on his own. The great God of the universe sent him for us. So you really think it's Noble Juali if you don't have him up front? No. That, that's Allah's wrath. That's not Noble Juali's wrath you're getting. Because all, all those things are in the instructions. You know? All those things are in the laws that Noble Juali laid down. That he said, oh yeah, I'm going to give you that stuff later. Well, well Nova Jolly never brought us the laws. What do you mean? Everything he said is spirit. Spirit is law. Spirit is universal law. Universal law manifests in a form that human beings can relate to it. Spirit. So if everything I say is spirit, Morris had better heed. Clearly, if you violate those things... That, that must be law, because you're only going to get it if you violate law. If you're in harmony with law, you ain't got nothing to worry about. If you're in harmony with what Nova Jolly brought, you don't have no worries. Because the perspective of what, of what he's presenting is not um, limited. You know, it's like when they have, um, when they do the, um, you know, the perspective has to be like, you know, when they do that, um, when they have that zoom, show the, show how, how far your camera could zoom commercial. Right, right. And then they start, they start close to the thing and they back the camera up or whatever. And they're pulling the zoom back. And then when you check it, you see that this that was that wasn't some um, something close up. That thing was like miles away, and these people are focused on it like that. So the zoom out has to be our perspective, not the zoom in. The zoom out has to be our perspective. Because you get the bigger picture. Exactly. And and you know the 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 um the portrait that Noble Juali drew for the Moors is a big picture. Right? It's not limited. The perspective is vast, just like this estate. You know, so yeah, that that um, statement is extremely important for Moors who are taking a position of being active with regard to what Nobujuali presented for us. I mean, he has to get his honors. You know I mean? you don't, like, like, you know, for example, if you're somewhere, you live somewhere, and there's no temple there, that doesn't mean you can't have a Noble Juali Day. Like, they don't own Noble Juali like that. You know what I'm saying? There's, there's not, there's not, um, um, 
you know, you, you live in a certain area and there's no reference to Noble Drew Ali. Again, once you're dealing with living by the principles, you, you could have a Noble Drew Ali bistro. You could have a Noble Drew Ali computer repair, repair whatever. You living by the principles that he brought? You're standing by those five principles? Then you better do something with them. Like there, there, there better be, and there should be, mores who are gonna see this and say, damn, time to get to work. Especially, again, mores who are riding with what Noble Juali brought. All you dirty mores and opportunistic mores and whatever, you putting the profit up front of the BS that you're doing is only going to bring Allah's wrath on your head top. You know, put, put that out there for those mores so they don't try to sneak in, you know what I mean, on the, on the good ship Jesus. <laughs> you, know, you know they're gonna try to sneak on, all right? The stowaways, all right? Stowing away, cause they don't wanna do they don't wanna do their do. You know what I mean? All right? Okay, great. Yeah, boy. I would say that's that's um they better they better have you know I mean fifty hands for that for all those, that all that big order that they're taking that they better be able to hold up their order right their supreme claims that they're making that they're the best whatever since Noble Drew Ali. Not only should they be able to hold it up, but there should be pass record to show that greatness that they claim that they got. Yes. And if there's none, now you got to again, why are you guys listening to these traitors? Because <clears throat> that's, that's, you know, that, those are traitor antics. Yeah. To say that, a man who was given or earned or whatever a particular title after Noble Juali. Right? If, if this individual is, is making a claim or people around them are making a claim that they are just as great as Noble Drew Ali when they live in a time frame which is, which is, which is you know, a novice compared to the time frame Noble Drew Ali lived in. You're a damn fool listening to these people. Because Noble Drew Ali reached all these people. He didn't even have Twitter and all that. He reached these people with his newspaper. For newspapers to get everywhere, they had to be shipping them there. I mean, there had to be outlets available for people to get the information that he brought in that time. Half these um 
Grand Sheik, Supreme Grand Sheiks, whoever they call yourself today that are claiming this greatness. They don't even have a thousand followers. Nobuju Ali had some thousands in his time. They're comparing themselves to him. But again, it goes back to that jealous of the fame and nobility. And the individuals who are seeking attention from this would make claims like that. People who are losers that want to attach themselves to something that's pure and divine and wholesome would say things like that. Right. Because, you know, like, you would, you would have to be, you would have to be, um, smoking, drinking something to put yourself in them shoes, <laughs> shoes there. Like, you put yourself in Noble Drew Ali shoes? Not guys who came after Noble Drew Ali, Noble Drew Ali shoes. These dudes right. are these dudes are bold face, like we say. Right. They're bold face. They're seeking self, like it's not even to be like, nah brother, that, that's not me, I'm just doing what I have to do. No, you acknowledge that. Didn't even say nothing back, but uh you good, brother. Right? And, and and again too, like you know, what I mean, like you know, it's there's a different there's a different sense or level of acknowledgement. Like when we acknowledge um, a Lean Bay, right, a Seer, Taj Street Bay, RV Bay, and these people. This is this is on on the strength of their track record. This is not on the strength of they got some city to recognize them. Or, or you know, um, they've been exercising as more science temple with nothing to show from that great institution that was set up by Nobu Juali. You know, what Nobu Juali was doing as more science temple and what these people are doing as more science temple is skewed. It's not it's not parallel. You know? The position they're taking of saying they are more science temple. The activity that, that is happening is not something that's happening with these people as it was happening with the prophet. But the uh, but the name the name of the game is you know we we talked about this before that you know the people who are not popular are going to say something to gain popularity. Right? So just go, just go, if you go on Morisco's channel, you'll see all the stuff that has, you know, him talking about Taj and RV Bay and the gossip and all that type of stuff, got the high hits. Those stuff have the high views. Right? Because this is where, this is where they know that our people are at. So they can reel them in. But not reel them in for them to learn something. Reel them in from the idea that, you know, if you watch this or if you support this, you're going to be looked at like, you know, you're down with the right whatever. This is not about the right whatever. This is about truth. Like, truth is absolute. There's no right or wrong in truth. Are you dealing with truth or you're dealing with it with BS? And the truth, right? And the truth is only going to be found by those who seek it. Truth isn't coming to people who don't want it. Don't think truth is going to fall to you. You're not drawing truth to you. You have to go get truth. You have to want truth in order for truth to manifest. 
you know, and Drew Ali made it one of the principles because of, of its power, the power of truth. You know, and half these people are not down with truth. We know they're not down with truth. When, when, you, when you go on, um, these same people who they're saying, um, they're on the level of Noble Jewali and all this type of stuff, right? When you go on their website and you go under the temple locator to see where these people are, are at, you know what I mean? Where, 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 where are they existing, right? You know where they exist at? They exist in NY. P A S C M I those are th those are corporates right right exactly okay so so if this is their website and they know that they're moors and this is their estate how is their more science temple in PA how are they putting that down as the quote unquote location Even, even Noble Jawali didn't say Chicago. He said Mecca. Yes, that's right. That's true. So if Chicago is Mecca, how are you saying IL? What do you mean IL? What do you mean? How are you more science temple but you're in SC? What do you mean you're in SC? What the hell is SC? But this is that corporate mindset. This is that perspective of, um, you know, more is after doing business and more is after commerce and whatever. But that's not what this is about. You know what I mean? That's not the, yeah, yeah. It might be a religious corporation, but trust me, it's not about corporate activity. Right. Even though if it's a religious corporation, it's not about corporate activity. This is about humanitarian activity. It's not about religious right. activity or dogmatized activity. This is about divine activity. You know, and again, you know, they, they, they keep divine, get rid of national, and then say religious. And then people look at this as a divine and religious movement and get lost. And then the, and then the people who are exercising the divine and national are being looked at like they don't rep Noble Juali. Right, right. When, you'll, when you'll hear these same people that are claiming that they're the authority in Morris Science Temple or whatever say that this is a religious movement and say that this is a religious corporation and everything has to do with, you know what I mean? Um some type of um, foggy, cloudy perspective of what Noble Juali brought. When you study for yourself, all you have is blue skies, no clouds, no confusion, no fog in the morning or in the day. Strictly clear skies when you study for yourself. Strictly. Right? You got any more questions, Mark? Yeah, oh, go ahead. Now, with that being said, I want to ask you this. The U.S. a corporation corporation and what is a corporation? Well, we'll just use the book for that. So make sure they get, make sure they go get their... I love it, I love it. I know that's right. Make sure you go get... The interjection acts a grand sheik. We're going to get and go to the books. Why not? If we, ha if we have them, then why not? There you go. There you go. <laughs> Why not? So we just never collected nothing. Use them as a, uh, a beer coaster. I mean, 
red cup red cup toaster yeah, the, the red cup toaster <laughs> the blue cup or the red cup either one you take you're gonna be lost exactly right more right more Um, so a corporation, an artificial person or legal entity created by or under the authority of the laws of a state or nation, composed in some rare instances of a single person and his successors, being the incumbents of a particular office, but ordinarily consisting of an association of numerous individuals who subsist as a body politic under a special denomination which is regarded in law as having a personality and existence distinct from that of its several members and which is by the, by the same authority vested with the capacity of continuous succession irrespective of changes in its membership, either in perpetuity or for a limited term of years, and of acting as a unit or single individual in matters relating to the common purpose of the association within the scope of the powers and authorities conferred upon such bodies by law. Right now, the corporation religious corporation, Morris Science Temple of America, was a successor, right? Because Morris Science Temple of America came out of Morris Holy Temple of Science, which is regarded in law as having a personality and existence distinct from its several members. That personality and existence should be where the members' mindsets are at. Because remember that the, the cause of the Moorish movement is uplifting fallen humanity. Now, humanity had to have been fallen for there to be a movement to uplift humanity. So the fallen had to happen first. And then the fall that happened brought about the cause and the cause is supposed to correct the fall. The fall is not being corrected under Morris Science Temple of America because Morris Science Temple of America today, that artificial person or legal entity created by or under the authority of the laws of the state or nation has been compromised. And they've strayed away from dealing with constitutional law. They've strayed away from teaching. So this, when, when we look at corporation, one, corporations aren't bad, nothing's wrong with them. Corporation, it ain't no big deal. Right? Who's running the corporation? Are they running it as continuous succession irrespective of the changes in its membership? Are they within the scope of the powers and authorities conferred, conferred upon such bodies by law? Are they really act acting in the capacity of Grand Sheik, Grand Governor, Grand Secretary, Grand Treasurer, Grand Mufti, Grand whatever, under this corporation. 
if they're not, then it's not about questioning the corporation, a.k.a. Morris Science Temple. It's about questioning the people who are supposed to be making sure that this thing is running how it's been running from the start. Why would, you, why would you change the perspective unless to confuse people? Why would, why would they push that this corporation is religious but not push the constitutional right to religion? That's right. You know? Um... Um, have a constitution but not enforce the supreme law of the land constitution but they have a constitution though which, which is really supposed to be training for you to get to the national constitution which is why again you go back to Brother Abdullah's book, Moors and Masonry, and put in your mind that White House and all that type of stuff is really our governmental seats under this guise called whatever they call it. Right? That's why Nobujwali gave us the titles like governor. Because you're not supposed to be going, that's your state representative. The grand governor, not the governor of the state. Because we have our own government that's been that's been running here. You know, it's like look, it's like like you know, we have we have our corporation, Morris Science Temple, but then they want to go to U.S. Corporation like they're somebody. Right, right. Right, it's no no different than it's like it's like Prince Hall are really the legit Masons but they're going to some Europeans who aren't legit to get them to recognize them. Crazy. Crazy. When, when, really, they, when they're really the authority. And they should be the ones. Prince Hall should be the ones giving charges to these Europeans. Exactly. Exactly. Now, I'm going to point that in the She got really beautiful. We're coming down to the five-minute mark of the uh, hour. She's and uh, I know you, you have to as well. I know you have to get on a, a, a 9.30 show. I will be tuning in because I want you to send me that blog talk link. Um, I will be having a um, conference. I, I started up a new Uber conference <laughs> for the people out there. The number is 720-835-5764. It'll be on tomorrow at 10 o'clock. Please call in if you will. And um, What else do you have? Do you have anything you want to say? Shout outs and, and greetings or... Well, just... Well, Islam, Islam to you more for all the all the work you're doing with the pardon interjection, because you know, we we need to be interjected sometimes, you know, because yeah. there's a lot of BS out here, you know what I mean? So, yeah, yeah. so well, thank you. Uh, honestly, you speak, uh, honestly, yeah. Thank you for giving me your precious time, more because I know your time is precious, more. So, uh, honest to you. And one more thing, just so we could get this on, on both shows at once. Um, don't forget, every Tuesday, 9.30 p.m., blogtalkradio.com, M-H-H-S, dash eyes wide open. And the call-in number, make sure you call before 9.30, or you're not going to get into the queue, 425-569-5201. Five, five, 425-569-5201 and 347-945-5899. Islam to all the Moors out there. Peace and love. Peace and love, boy. I can put you real shortly. Peace yeah, yeah. Peace. Peace. Islam, more.
bars so be sure be sure that you're in tune with what your prophet laid down for you again you can get the holy quran of the more science temple of america right Try your best to get through the Jesus part. Once you get through the Jesus part, and you get to know Jawali's part, it'll be a lot, you know, different. Right? But you gotta get through those first those first chapters, right? Um, Moorish literature, which is all the articles that. We're in the Moorish Guide so that you can, you know, get the words of the prophet, right, Moorish literature. Um, oral statements, which is what it is said that Moors heard the prophet say during his time. You know, unfortunately they didn't have smartphones, they just we would have had archives of stuff, but, you know, it is what it is, we'll do it best with what we got um, and 101 questionnaire you know, and um, the 101 questionnaire is like your you know like an encyclopedia reference points for you to go into deeper study right? metaphysics history law everything is in there Right? In, in keys, little, little, little bites, you know what I mean? So you don't have to hurt yourself trying to figure this out. Once you go through that information in those, that literature, um, it's going to give you a better perspective of Noble Juali and what he brought. It is going to allow you to, you know, open your mind so you will be able to receive the flow of information that is going to rush you. That's just how it goes when you say that, you know, you're a more and you're going to do the principles of the prophet and noble Juali and all that. As soon as you go, as soon as you go there, soon as you go there the the rabbit hole is the ant hill is enormous the beehive is gigantic like you know you can't even fathom but when you start studying you start going through this information you'll start realizing how important it is you know what i mean that we take this man serious and don't forget, Roman J. Israel, that they had him on the fridge. Like, that has to do something for you. If you know, don't know about this, and you just heard about Nobu Juali, or even if you know about this, and you were down with Seti's side, and you were down with Ali Muhammad's side, and you were down with all the sides that were against the Moors, the fact that they got... Noble Juali in this movie right now, his picture should let you know something. And if it doesn't let you know something, then you know, FOH, because you're really a zombie. And it doesn't even make sense talking to you, paying to any attention to you, listening to you, etc. So, Islam to all the Moors worldwide. Peace and love to everybody. Don't forget. MHHS, eyes wide open, 9.30, make sure you call in before 9.30, especially all you people with questions about where's your proclamation papers and stuff like that, because we don't want to hear nothing about you didn't get to call in and, you know what I mean, the line was full and all mm -hmm. that stuff. Call in before 9.30 so you can get in and just put your phone on mute, put it on speaker and throw your phone somewhere until 9.30.
We'll just close out. It's long to all the Mars. Five on the left, two on the right. A lot of Father of the Universe, Father of Love, Truth, Peace, Freedom, and Justice. Allah is my protector, my guide, and my salvation by night and by day through His Holy Prophet, Noble Drew Ali. Islam Mars. Uh, the street is my world. I don't. Uh... I don't pretend to go uptown and be anything fancy. I can, but I find more real in the world that I'm in than I do the tinsel. And the real world is the one I have to deal with every day, you know? Uh, believe me, if I started murdering people, there'd be none of you left. Let the bass kick. kick. Playtime been over since y'all dropped the ball. Bound to the continent, there's no asylum for y'all. Pushing the black Asiatic game with Ford L and Pool Bay. Before NOI, I rep draw L all day. How many fakes proclaim to be the reincarnation and claim to be the true head of the Moorish nation? No mention of Mealy Ill, but I read his letters. Dirty Moors mad cause they thought they dead as letters. Many were there when decisions were handed down. Now they claim that me Leal was not ordained, not commissioned, not called or appointed. With the vine plans for ages, but Dirty Moors making changes. Working with FBI during infiltrations. In a pheasant alley's giving bogey smoke inhalations. In secret walls are made, heads are made in public mentions. Don't believe, get the minutes of the first convention. Kirkman and Lomax Bay got called out as villains against the Prophet Sordon and L called Givens. Thousands of Moorish Americans follow those leaders That killed the prophet and made Moors parrots not readers They don't study, study, study brains hollow To crush the truth, plant dissension in the ones that follow Robbed the treasury, felt like they hit the lotto Took advantage of the faithful Moors in their times of sorrow Moments still critical, a hundred years later the message Stick to the principles in your actions, be progressive Don't sell your soul for a title, take your membership role Watch out for grand cheeks pushing you in a censorship hole The sellout was great, now they're comfy and won't get the hell out Active mods come around, they get clumsy Not humbly, but act grumpy and jumpy Active mods see them touchy and think it's lovely With faces ugly, I push back so don't shove me If not for love, it would be just as dirty mods get from me Hitting all reincarnates with writs of discovery And demanding the treasury recovery and law for money Wearing affairs don't make you a Moorish adept Dirty Moorish heads are boy scouts and cadets Working for FBI inspectors, slaves for gadgets Claiming they got pulled but they really dead magnets Running a fraud that's done cause new mores are here One for all, all for one profit like musketeers Bay, not Tampa or Buccaneers I strike nerves like harp or strings on those puppeteers Pushing misconceptions as teachings and calling it facts Swinging my shimitar tongue, not a fireman's axe Quick to call me out as dirty, say I violate acts If you don't nationalize, know that I annihilate blacks Nail them through their palms and incepts on beams of wood Burn crosses on black lawns in my Moorish hood Black clansmen like movie from 1960s White power, not supremacy like Clayton Bigsby Now I run through illusions Battling my arch nemesis, misconfusion She's been trying to keep me out of course, facing losses Calling all her negative forces 99 years past, Drew Ali said 50 would pass and you wouldn't know about me Or even know what I brought for you NOI and UNIA knew about him too Most thought that they could bury the movement Be in charge, passive and abuse it But Drew said new mores would come with eyes open Seeing and knowing, far from hoping Far from belief in faith, master fruition Study the laws of nature, activate intuition One day our wheels of industry will stop And when it starts again, mores will be on top Drew Ali blessed with latent power Warned you, get out the way or be ground to powder Drew Ali didn't kill you fast But he brought you your title and estate vast Confusion continues to confuse no remembrance Of Maghrib Al-Aqsa by Moorish descendants Now I run through illusions Battling my arch nemesis misconfusion She's been trying to keep me out of course facing losses Calling all her negative forces